Today, we're going to dive just below the surface of this freshwater lake to meet, well, a few microbes, actually. This little microbe, the one in the middle, is named Hetty. Hey, thrilled to be here. Hetty is a heterocyst, a specialized cell in this colony of cyanobacteria. The cells in this colony perform photosynthesis. They take up water and CO2 and turn it into organic carbon, releasing oxygen as a waste product. Yeah, most people don't know this, but we produce over half of the new oxygen in the atmosphere every year. And you've been doing that for over two billion years. Right? People are all like, trees are so great, they give us oxygen. And we're like, hey, we made more. We're like the kid in the group project that does all the work and gets no credit. You deserve a lot of credit, Hetty. But we have to move on. Right, sorry. No worries. But Hetty is not here to perform photosynthesis. Nope. In fact, the other cells in her colony will share some of their carbon with her. Um. Hetty is here because the colony has run out of nitrogen. And that is not good if we want to keep growing. That's right. But Hetty can do something remarkable. She can take nitrogen gas, a form of nitrogen that is very abundant, but useless to organisms. And I can fix it. That's right. Heterocysts like Hetty produce an enzyme called nitrogenase. Hetty can use this enzyme and a lot of energy to break the very stable triple bond in nitrogen gas. And create ammonia, which organisms can use. Hetty shares this ammonia with the colony so they can continue to grow and photosynthesize. This process is called nitrogen fixation. When cyanobacteria perform nitrogen fixation, they increase the amount of nitrogen in the lake, making it more available to other organisms as well. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. This is a rare ability. Only a few kinds of microbes can produce nitrogenase and access enough energy to perform nitrogen fixation. Thanks, I know. But Hetty, before we go, I do have a question. Sure. I've heard that you also produce toxins sometimes. Yeah, we do that sometimes, but very rarely. I mean, sometimes when we feel threatened. Ah, copepod! Ah. Anyway, when we feel threatened, we may release toxins. Boom, toxins. And we don't always know why we're doing it. These toxins, including the microcystin that Hetty and her colony produce, can make water unsafe for humans and our pets. Yeah, sorry about that. But, you know, we live here. And when the water is nice and warm and full of nutrients, a lot of us live here. Hetty is describing a bloom. Yup. When conditions are right, cyanobacteria can grow and reproduce very rapidly. Blooms are a natural phenomenon, but we humans may be making them more common by raising water temperatures and adding nutrients like phosphorus that fertilize their growth. So don't go swimming when you see a lot of us, you know? We're probably harmless, but you don't want to take a chance unless you're sure. We'll be gone in a few days anyways. So maybe go for a hike or go see a movie instead. That's great advice. Thanks for your time today, Hetty. No problem. We humans can do our part to protect the lakes by cleaning up after ourselves. That way, we don't end up with too much of a good thing. And we can protect each other by reporting blooms when we see them. 